Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect the PEL 103 power and energy logger to a three phase installation. Connecting the PEL 103 really is very simple, but it must be performed by a person qualified to do so. Depending on where you're making the connections, it can be done completely non intrusively, so there's no need to switch off the main supply unless required. The PEL 103 can be powered from the supply you're going to monitor using the power adapter supplied in the complete kit. This plugs into the top of the unit with the power lead plugging into the socket on the underside. This PEL 103 has already been set up with the logging requirements and parameters. This is covered in another video which can be seen on the Chauvin Arnu media channel. So let's go ahead and connect it to the installation. First, Plug in the voltage measuring leads and flexible clamps. These come with a variety of different coloured collars to identify which is which. Now attach the current clamps. The flexible clamp is opened by pushing on the side. It can then be looped around the conductor. Care should be taken to ensure the arrow shown here points in the direction that the power is flowing, so from the supply to the load. If these are connected the wrong way round, you'll record negative power values, but this can be corrected when you've downloaded the results. Make sure to push the end of the flexi back in until it clicks into place. The voltage leads come with clips and probes or for simple connections to MCB screw heads and the like, these handy magnetic probes. For this system, we need to connect three phases and the neutral. Once that's done, the PEL 103 can be conveniently stuck somewhere with its magnetic back. And that's it. It really is very simple. With the PEL 103 having been programmed to start and stop logging for a certain period, it can now simply be left to do its thing.